Hello everyone, welcome to Hopeful Turns. In today's video, I'll be sharing with you the pattern for this crochet pouch. Now here I have used this pouch as a Kindle cover, but if you want, you can use this as a mobile phone pouch or as a laptop pouch. Uh, you can even use the same pouch and make it into a sling bag. So if you want to use it as a sling bag, you can just sew in uh, some crochet cords or if you want it like a removable sling bag, you can get this kind of bag handles with this kind of lock. So you can just attach these locks onto the sides. So if you want to just use it as a pouch, you can use that or just use this removable clips on either side and use it as a um, sling bag. Okay, so you can make this wider, bigger, taller. So depending on what you want this pouch to be used, you can customize it. It's a completely versatile and customizable pattern. Uh, and the entire pouch here has been made with the star stitch. So if you see, it is a very beautiful and textured stitch. So this is how the pouch looks. Now, if you want, you can make the flap much more longer uh, up to the middle. So definitely you can go ahead and play with the pattern and I hope you will like it. Okay, so let's see the material first and then we'll head over to the pattern. So for this pouch here, I have used a medium four weight 100% acrylic yarn. Now you can use any weight yarn. You just have to use the recommended hook size. If you use cotton yarn, I think the texture will be much more defined. The stitches will come out much more better. But I just wanted more of a cushion effect. So if you see, I wanted it for a Kindle cover. So this gives a nice cushion. But if you want a much more stitch definition, definitely go ahead and use cotton yarn. Uh, and I said use the recommended hook size. So for this, I have used a 5mm crochet hook. Apart from that, you would require a pair of scissors and a yarn needle to weave in all the loose ends and also a button. Now, if you are making it as a sling bag, you, if you want this kind of straps, you might need that. Or you can just use a crochet cord. I have a tutorial on how to make a very, very simple and easy crochet cord. So I have put a link in the description box on how to make a crochet cord. So if you're interested, do check that out. So let's move on to the tutorial. So we'll start this pattern by making a slip knot first. So make your slip knot. And once you have that, we will make chain stitch. Now the number of chain stitch will depend on the width of the pouch that you want to make. So for my case, I'm going to make 22 chain stitch and the number of chain stitch should be an even number or multiple of two. So make the required number of chain stitch. Just make sure that it is a multiple of two. So I'll make my 22 chain stitches first. So here I have made my 22 chain stitch and this is the width of the pouch. This is the Kindle for which I'm making the pouch. So if you see, it completely covers the width of the pouch. It's just a little bit uh, bigger because uh, once you stitch this up, uh, it will fit perfectly. So I have made a little bit bigger than the uh, width of the Kindle here. Okay, and this will be the width of the pouch that I'll be making. Okay. So once you have your starting foundation chain stitch, in the first round, we are going to make single crochet, okay? So here we have 22 chain stitch. I'm going to skip the very first chain stitch here and make a single crochet in all of the remaining stitches. So skipping one stitch, just go into the second stitch from the hook and make a single crochet like this. Come to your next stitch, Again, make a single crochet. So for a single crochet, insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through both the loops. This is my second, second single crochet. Like that, I'm just going to go along this row, making one single crochet in every stitch. And I will have a total of 21 single crochet. So I complete my 21 single crochets first. So here I have completed row one. I have 21 single crochet. So row one was just a simple single crochet row. We will move on to row two. Okay. Now for starting row two, we are going to start with one chain stitch, chain one, and then turn your work. Now row two is going to be a slip stitch row. So you're just going to put one slip stitch in every stitch. 
so we have put chain one just ignore that that is for the turning chain purpose find your first stitch of this row not the chain one but the first stitch and make a slip stitch so to make a slip stitch just insert your hook through the first stitch and pull your yarn through both these loops from here as well as here so this is my first chain st slip stitch come to your next stitch again put a slip stitch come to your third stitch again make a slip stitch like this you just go ahead and complete a row of slip stitch once you finish row 2 you will again end up with 21 slip stitches okay so I'll just complete this row making slip stitches so here I have completed row 2 I have put one slip stitch in every stitch and I have a total of 21 slip stitch so row 2 is just a simple slip stitch row I just forgot to mention when you're doing row 2 try to keep your hand very loose make sure that the slip stitches are not very tight uh, because that will help in row 3 okay so we'll start row 3 and row 3 we are going to start with 3 chain stitch so chain 3 1 2 3 and you can turn your work here now if you see uh, we have three chain stitch I'm going to insert my hook into the second stitch second chain stitch not this one the second chain stitch I'm going to insert my hook we are going to make a star stitch so insert your hook and pull up a loop now insert your hook into the next chain stitch like this and pull up a loop you will have three loops now what you do is if you don't look like this but try to keep it like this you can find the slip stitches that you have made so try to find the back loops here this one here if you see you have v stitches if you if you look like this you have a stitch going on here if you hold it like this you can find v stitches going here so i'm going to use only the back loops you can see this here is your back loop this is your front loop okay so after you pull up hook from the two chain stitch come to your first stitch only through the back loop you can see there is a stitch here just insert your hook and pull up a loop come to your next stitch just insert your hook through the back loop and pull up a loop sorry so if you see one two three four five we have five loops you should be having six loops to make a star stitch so again insert your hook through the back loop of the slip stitch that you have made and pull up a loop okay now if you see we have six loops on our hook you have to yarn over and pull your working yarn through all the loops so once you have six just yarn over and pull your yarn through all the six loops like this after that make one chain stitch chain one so this here is your first star stitch okay we'll move on to the next star stitch so we should have a total of six loops on our hook when you make a star stitch so this is how you'll be doing the next stitch so you see this is where the chain one is and this is the eye of the star stitch so insert your hook into the center the eye of the star stitch that is where the chain stitch is so insert your hook there and pull up a loop two loops now insert your hook into the very last arm of your star stitch so this right here okay this one here in the leftmost corner insert your hook there pull up a loop next you have to insert your hook where the last arm is going okay that is right here you can see this is getting stretched so you can see a hole here just insert your hook there and pull up a loop you have four loops now you make the two loops from this row the slip stitch row so insert your hook into the slip stitch back loop only and pull up a loop one more insert your hook through this stitch and pull up a loop now you have six loops so you yarn over and pull your yarn through all the six loops like this and then make chain one so chain one will form the eye of your star stitch okay or the center so just make one chain stitch chain one so this here is our second star stitch so like that you can go ahead and repeat the pattern so I'll show you again so you'll have to pull up a loop from the center where the chain stitch is holding one from the leftmost or the last arm of your star stitch 
next one from this place this hole where the last arm is going and then from two stitches on this row okay so we'll start so you should have a total of six loops so insert your hook through the center or the eye of the star stitch pull up a loop insert your hook through the very last arm or the leftmost arm of your star stitch pull up a loop insert your hook where the last arm is going so you can see this place right here here insert your hook and pull up a loop you have four loops now take two loops from the stitches on the row so one from this pull up a loop and one more from the next stitch and pull up a loop you will have a total of six loops now if you find taking a inserting your hook through the very last arm if you just stretch your uh, piece like this so if you just pull it up this one will become loose so it will be very easier to get this arm this is the last or leftmost arm that you have to insert your hook so just push it a little bit so that it becomes loose and then pull through all the loops here and chain one so this becomes our next star stitch I'll show you one last time and then you can proceed at your own pace so insert your hook through the center and pull up a loop insert your hook through the very last arm and pull up a loop insert your hook through this gap where the arm is going pull up a loop now just turn your work like this so as to see this if you see there is a slip there are stitches going here we don't want that that is why I'm asking you to turn it like this and take the next two loops like this now you'll have six loops and as I said if you want you can stretch it a little bit up so that this becomes loose and then yarn over pull through all the loops and chain one okay so here we have made four so far I'll just repeat this and I'll join you at the very last star stitch so here I'm almost at the end of row three I thought of doing the very last star stitch with you so I have last two stitches left this is my second last so I'm going to put the very last stitch so insert your hook through the eye of the star stitch insert your hook through the very last arm of the star stitch insert your hook where the arm was going and pull up a loop you have two stitches on the row so yarn over so insert your hook through the second last stitch pull up a loop insert your hook through the very last stitch of this row and pull up a loop okay now you have six loops you yarn over and pull through all the six loops and chain one okay so this is almost the end of the row now in order to finish this off that is we have started with three chain stitch so this is like a nice line so in order to finish off the uh, row with a line once you finish the last star stitch this is how you'll finish you'll insert your hook through the eye of the star stitch pull up a loop okay now insert your hook through the very last stitch not the arm when it comes to last stitch you are going to pull through the eye and also the stitch where the last thing is going and pull up a loop okay now you have three loops yarn over pull to the first two yarn over pull to the last two like a double crochet you are doing so the, the very last stitch is only different the rest is all the same okay so just take care to finish off the row like this we'll do the row four the row four is a half double crochet row that will complete the star stitch this is one half of the star stitch row four will completely finish it off and we are going to do half double crochet so for row four we will turn our work first and there will be no turning chain for row four we will be directly putting half double crochet and we'll be putting two half double crochet into the eye of your star stitch so if you see here this is your star stitches and if you see here this here where we had taken all the arms and made a chain one the center one that is the eye of your star stitch we will be putting two half double crochet into the center or into the eye of the star stitch so that is the pattern for row four so this was the last stitch i'm just going to turn my work and i'm going to place two half double crochet into the first eye so this here 
is my first eye of the star stitch I'm going to place two half double crochet this is one and in the same space put another half double crochet two come to your next stitch it might be a little bit tricky to find it at least from the back side in from the front it is very easy to find it but you can find a bit of a gap go right there and put two half double crochet this is one and in the same space another one come to your next space you see this is the next eye of your star stitch there again I'm going to put two half double crochet like this I'm just going to go ahead and put two half double crochet in every star stitch that we have made so I'll just complete this round uh, now for my row here I'm going to get a total of 20 half double crochet all right I have 10 star stitches uh, for my case because I started with 21 stitches or 22 as the chain stitch but we were working with 21 stitches throughout the row so almost half of it so I'll have 10 star stitches so 10 star stitches means I'll have 10 into 2 that is 20 half double crochet so because we are putting two half double crochet in every stitch so you should be having a total of 20 half double crochet if this is the number that you have started with all right so I have got my 20 half double crochet the very last stitch is a little bit different we'll be putting a slip stitch into the third chain of our chain three so if you find you remember we had started with chain three so find third chain of your chain three and slip stitch to join okay so that will complete row four it is just a two half double crochet into the center or eye of the star stitch and just the last stitch is different we are we have put a slip stitch into the last stitch so we have 20 half double crochet and the 21th stitch will be a slip stitch so in total we again have 21 stitches we'll move on to row 5 now from here onwards it is just a repeat of row 1 to row 4 row 1 is a single crochet row row 2 is a slip stitch row row 3 is a star stitch row and row 4 is two half double crochet row so it's very very simple I'll just start this again with you so row 5 is a repeat of row 1 so we'll do a single crochet row so just chain one and turn your work and we are just going to put one single crochet in every stitch so the chain one is acting as a turning chain just ignore that go to your first stitch make a single crochet come to your next stitch again make a single crochet like this you can just go ahead and make a row of single crochets so this is just going to be a normal single crochet row and I will have a total of 21 single crochet so I'll just complete this row and I'll join you so here I have finished row 5 which was a repeat of row 1 that is that was a normal single crochet row now if you do uh, you can see that it might just stretch or come inside you just push it like this it will lay flat okay so row 5 is done now we'll do row 6 that will be a repeat of row 2 which is a simple slip stitch row so chain 1 and turn your work and then put one slip stitch in every stitch so I'm just going to put one slip stitch in each of these stitches so again I have 21 slip stitch so row one was single crochet rows row two is slip stitch rows so I'll complete row six which is a repeat of row two making one slip stitch in every stitch here I have completed row 6 which was a slip stitch row we'll move on to row 7 now row 7 is a repeat of row 3 so this is how we'll be doing we'll start with 3 chain stitch chain 3 1 2 and 3 now this uh, row is where we are going to make our star stitch okay so what we'll do is we'll skip the very first chain stitch here and insert our hook into the second chain stitch and pull up a loop insert your hook into the next stitch next chain stitch and pull up a loop we have three loops we should be having six loops to do a star stitch and only the first star stitch of this row is different uh, the rest all are the same so once you 
have three loops you have to take the next three loops from the slip stitches that are there on the row so we'll do that so using the back loop only so if you see if you look from here you have a stitch coming here if you look through the side you have your slip stitches coming this side so only from the back loops you insert your hook and pull up a loop now insert your hook into the next stitch and pull up a loop you have five loops you have to have one more so insert your hook and pull up a loop now you have five loops on your hook you yarn over and pull through all the five loops on your hook like this and chain one so this is your first star stitch now we'll make the second one and from here the everything is same only the first uh, star stitch will be different okay so for a star stitch to make the next one insert your hook into the eye of your stitch star stitch and pull up a loop insert your hook into the last arm of your star stitch sorry and pull up a loop insert your hook where your last arm was going and pull up a loop now you have to take two loops from the row below or the slip stitch so insert your hook, pull up a loop insert your hook through the next stitch like this and pull up a loop now you'll have six loops yarn over and pull through all the six loops okay i have made a mistake here so i'll do that again sorry about that so one from the eye one from the arm one from where the arm was going and two stitches from the row below six loops yarn over and pull through all the loops and chain one and like this you can just go ahead and repeat the pattern if you want some more help or you want it more slow you can check on row three you'll get the pattern so i'll just complete this row so here i have reached the end of row seven and i'll do the last stitch again with you so i have to make one more star stitch so just like we did for all the other things i'm just inserting my hook through everything we have last two stitches left so through that also i'll take the loops out one and here again one more okay so i have six loops left yarn over pull through all the six loops like this now the very last stitch is a little bit different so i'll just finish it off with a chain okay now in order to finish off the row here I'm just inserting my hook through the center and pull up a loop i'll insert my hook through this arm where it is going i'm not taking the arm for the last stitch we will not use this loop we'll go directly on the row and pull up a loop you have three loops yarn over pull to the first two yarn over pull to the last two so this is how you'll be finishing off the star stitch row okay now the last row row eight is a repeat of row four which is going to be a half double crochet row we are going to put two half double crochet into the center of the stars and row four or row eight we will not be making any turn turning chain stitches we will turn our work and directly put two half double crochet into the center so this is one and in the same stitch another one two come to your next eye again put two half double crochet so like that you can just go ahead making two half double crochet into the center of your star stitches so i'll just complete this row as well so here i am almost at the end of row eight i have put two half double crochet in every stitch and to finish off this round you will be ending with a slip stitch and the slip stitch will go at the top of this stitch the very end stitch which will be the third chain of your chain three the starting uh, third chain there you go ahead and slip stitch so you always be finishing with a slip stitch okay so this is how the pattern has turned so far and this is what you will be repeating till you have a long enough strip so you're just going to repeat row one to row four so the first row row one will be a single crochet row row two will be a slip stitch row row three will is the row where you make a star stitch 
and row 4 is a half double crochet row that is you will be putting two half double crochet in every uh, star stitch okay so like that you can just go ahead and repeat and make a long strip so i'll just show you how to assemble that uh, once i make the long strip so just continue row 1 to row 4 so here I have repeated the pattern and I have made a very long strip. So this is long enough to cover my Kindle. Uh, so this is about 16 and a half inches long. So I'll show you how I'm going to place this. So this is where your star stitches are. I'm just turning it like this. And I'll take my Kindle here. Or whatever you want to use it for, this is how we'll be doing it. So I'm going to completely cover this. And this will be the flap. Now, if you want a bigger flap, you can just go ahead and continue the pattern. So, depending on what you are making for, at least this is how we will be assembling the piece. Okay. So, this is about 16 and a half inches long. Now, what we'll do is we will make the border first. Okay. So, for that. Okay. And one more thing. I didn't do the slip stitch row. So, I, we have to repeat from row 1 to row 4. So, once the star stitch is done i'm just ending on a single crochet row i didn't do after that so once four rows is done one to four uh, after that i just made i ended up with a single crochet row okay so to make the border i'm just going to put single crochet on all the four sides so this is how we'll be doing so this is the very last single crochet here in the same stitch i'm going to go ahead and make one more single crochet okay now you can turn your work the length wise and i'm going to place single crochet as evenly as possible on this side okay come to your next stitch and make a single crochet come to this stitch where your uh this one will be probably your double crochet kind of a thing there you go and make a single crochet then you make the next single crochet so this is your slip stitch row there will be one small gap so one slip stitch one single crochet i'm going to put here and one below it on the slip stitch i'm not going to put any stitch so just above your slip stitch row i'm going to make a single crochet just below your sing slip stitch row you make another single crochet like this now come to your next stitch here there will be a small gap make a single crochet then you make a single crochet on this line the very last line of the star stitch you make a single crochet then a single crochet just above your slip stitch row and a single crochet just below your slip stitch row so that will give a very clean edge so I'm just going to make single crochet all across this okay here i have completed one side with the single crochet border so this has just neatened up this edge okay and when you re reach the very last stitch okay so this here is the very last stitch so into the very last stitch or the corner stitch we are going to put three single crochet so make three single crochet this is one in the same stitch another one two and one more stitch will go in the same stitch so at the corners we are going to put three single crochet now we'll just go ahead and repeat the pattern i'm just going to put one single crochet in all of these stitches when i reach the corner i'll put three single crochet again i'm going to go and work a single crochet on this side when i reach this end again i'll put three single crochet and when we reach here we will be making the loop so complete three more sides and then we will make the closure so I'll just show you. So I'll just complete the remaining two sides with single crochets. So here I have completed single crochet border for all the three sides. And this is the last side that is left. So when you reach the very last corner, I'm going to put three single crochets. So into the very last stitch, put three single crochet. One, two, and one more, three. Okay. So here I have put three single crochet in the corner stitch. Once you do that, in the next nine stitches, put one single crochet each. So I'm just going to put one single crochet in nine stitches. One, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, and one more nine. Okay, so here I have put nine single crochet. I've reached almost the middle here. And when you reach there, I'm going to make a button hood. So I'm going to put four chain stitch, chain four, one, two, three, and four. Okay, so here I've made four chain stitch. I'm going to skip one stitch and go ahead and make a single crochet into the next stitch. So I'm just skipping one stitch and making a single crochet here. So this is one. And I'm going to put eight more single crochet. All right, so one has been done. This is two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So in total, I have put nine single crochet starting from here. All right, once you do that, into the next stitch i'm going to put two single crochets one and two and then i'm going to slip stitch into this stitch here okay so just go ahead and slip stitch and then you can cut your work so i'm just going to cut my work here so if you see here this is what we have got so far so this here will be your button loop Okay, so I'll just cut my yarn and then we will join these two sides. Here I have cut the yarn and I have also hidden in the loose ends. Now we'll join this together. So just fold it the way you want with the flap. Just adjust it. And then we are just going to stitch this up. Now if you see here, uh, we have a V-stitch going here. We have a V-stitch going here. So if you look from here, this is the front loop. This is the back loop. And... If you go from here, this here is your front loop and the back loop. So the two loops that are together, that are close to each other, we'll be using these two loops to stitch this up. Okay, so place it properly the way you want it. And then we can stitch this up. So I'm going to start from the top. If you want, you can start from the bottom. So that's totally up to you. So just stitch this up. Now this loose end, whatever you have, you can just knot this and use a darning needle again to hide in this tape so i'm just going to do it so this you can hide in with the help of a darning needle once you're done come to your next stitch the back loop of this and the front loop of the other side just take your needle out again through the next stitches you can do that like this so like this you can go ahead and stitch this up till you reach the other side so I'm just going to stitch the two ends go all the way up till here and once this is done I'll cut the yarn and again I'll stitch from here to here so I'm just going to use the two loops that are close to each other to stitch this up all right so here i have stitched up both the sides so this is how this looks it's quite neat and i have hidden in all the loose ends and our pouch is ready i have also attached a button so just place your flap and check where you want your button to be placed so you can stitch up a button if you want to i have already put in the kindle so as to get this in shape and yeah our pouch is pretty much done and i hope you liked it now this is just a pouch if you want to turn it into a sling bag you can attach a cord uh, so i do have a cord tutorial on my channel so i'll put the link in the description box if you're interested you can check that up so you can make that cord and just stitch it up on the sides or you can even use this kind of cords which come with the removable uh, clips so if you are using this kind of thing you can attach it to the sides and use it as a sling bag as well okay so that's up to you so this can also be used as a sling bag it will look really nice so yeah that was a tutorial on how to do this star stitch 
pouch i hope you liked it i hope you enjoyed making it now if you are making one please do tag me in your pictures i would love to see what you have made i have left all my uh, social media handle links in the description box so if at all you're looking for other uh, pouches other patterns with respect to pouches bags baskets i do have a few on my channel so i have put a link in the description box you can find the playlist link there or you can find the playlist link on the end screen that is coming up so that's it for today's tutorial see you in another video until then bye bye thank you for